Everyone, we're gonna do a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install the battery in here again. So we're, we're gonna test to see how long the battery lasts on a fully charged DeWalt battery. Um, this is a 4AH. And we're also gonna measure how fast the scooter goes as well. Okay, so we're gonna get a 30 amp fuse and we're gonna bypass this switch right here. Do you see two connectors? Or there's three connectors in this switch, but it's only rated at 13 amp. So let's go ahead and unplug the yellow. So we don't have any battery in here right now, so I can just go ahead and wedge this out. All right, the yellow one's off. Let's go ahead and pull the brown one off. There we go. So brown and yellow, connect these two. And we're actually using a, a different, there we go, let me show you. So we're connecting that with this. There we go. So now this is going, the electricity or the power is going through a 30 amp. So we're using, we're using this box and this actually has a power switch on and off. So off is a circle, on is a line. And this battery we have is weak. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut off this connectors right here. It's still, the battery's still good, but it's just weak. So I'm going to just nip it a little like right there i'm gonna leave some room just in ca case i wanted to splice it back in and still use this battery there we go so now we have this connector we will attach that connector to this adapter let's go ahead and trim this sleeve Strip this wire. Yeah. It started raining on us a little bit while we were testing this. Okay. So go ahead and attach red to red, uh, black to black from the adapter. We're using this little adapter or terminal set that I have. Let's go ahead and use these little red. It's the a little smaller gauge. So we have dual protection. This is also a 30 amp in here. So if things go wrong, the fuse should pop. Use the 22 to 18 gauge size on this cutter or wire crimping. Alright, 
So red to red, this is our little connector. on and then black is the negative so I'll add the link below for this adapter this is the DeWalt adapter it comes with a fuse this time and this actually has screw holes too so we can have, actually put screws into it once we are ready to put it permanently but right now leave it on off position go ahead and plug it in like that. Let's put our battery in. So this is a fully charged DeWalt battery pack. There we go. We, we want to see how long um, my daughter can ride on this before the battery runs out with one DeWalt battery. All right, let's turn the power on. And we need, we are going to reattach this for now too battery holder and we're gonna go around the block and I'm gonna bring an extra battery so when the battery runs out we can pop it out I'll put another battery in yeah we, we're gonna test it until the battery runs out that's the goal is to have it run out and we're gonna time it to see how, or we're gonna see how fast it goes and also how long it lasts. So yeah, there's four screws, but it keeps us safe. We're gonna, I'm gonna put pins on here so then it can be like a quick connect, quick disconnect pin, but I'm gonna look for pins this size six yeah so then we can do a quick disconnect and just pull six pins out and then you can pull off this or I might put a hinge I might add a hinge on this as well so then we can access the battery from a, a hinge that's the plan so right now this is just temporary we're doing some testing um, I'm ordering some parts for this so we're gonna change to pneumatic wheels I'm waiting for the parts to arrive and we're gonna add disc brakes to the front. On the rear, we're adding a, a stronger motor as well with a suspension. So this is gonna be extended out with rear suspension. So it should be pretty neat once we get all the parts in. Everything is ordered, I'm just waiting for the parts to get here. But all right, we're gonna test to see how fast it is and how long it lasts. All right, so we just started the, the ride to see how long this thing lasts. I'm on my mountain bike and I can't even keep up with her, with her. She has to release her, her throttle. We need a screwdriver. Be really careful about turning. Definitely new suspension on there. 
she doesn't have suspension, so it's a bumpy ride. She has to keep waiting for me. All right, slow down. I'm having trouble trying to keep up. <laughs> Maybe I need to work out more. But yeah, she's, she's going at 14 miles an hour um, uphill. Downhill is probably a little fast, but um, she lets go of the accelerator, the button. So she kind of slows down a little bit because it gets a little too fast with those tiny wheels and how shaky it is without suspension. It feels kind of scary. She literally can't just zoom by me with nothing. Okay, we're going on about 21 minutes. It's okay, you can keep going. We're trying to figure out when when you're, it's out. There we go, 21 minutes. All right, 34 minutes. Yeah. My daughter's getting tired. <laughs> getting tired of standing on the, the scooter for so long and it vibrates a lot. So we're planning to put suspension on there with pneumatic tires as well. And all that rattle kind of nice, like a nice scooter with suspension. I'm planning to put front suspension and rear suspension on it. And I might upgrade the motor too. I don't know how much of it is going to be an E90 scooter after I'm done. The frame will always be an E90. Okay, so we took the scooter all the way near Starbucks earlier, which is pretty far. Um, I'm thinking it's probably... It's a mile. It's a mile, yeah. So we took it a mile there and then we came back. We did about another mile, just back and forth the street in our neighborhood. And what I did was, since we were going far and I didn't know how long it was going to last, I actually have another full, fully charged DeWalt battery. And I brought a screwdriver since right now we still have to remove, we still have to remove the cover in order to put the battery. So I brought a Phillips screwdriver as well. So if we ran out of battery while we were there, we could have changed the, the battery. But yeah, we made it back home. Okay, so we are at 30, 36 minutes and I think we're done. So that's kind of a success, well over 30 minutes. Oh, <laughs> it still wants to pop a wheelie every time you hit the accelerator. Yeah, yeah. the front pops up a little. Yeah, the front pops up because the back is where the motor is. All right, let's go ahead and open this and check the battery. <laughs> all right let's see how hot everything is it's not too bad all right i'm gonna turn the battery off okay so the battery is kind of warm yeah, oh, yeah warm yeah. let's check all right so good we, we drained it down there's still one bar 
what, wait, what if so I... we use two bars and i'm thinking it's good to say that the battery will last 40 minutes easily yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe to 50 it would be a little bit struggling but yeah but that's pretty good 40 minutes And so if we wanted, we can just plug this in and we're good for another 40 minutes. Yeah? Yeah. Fully charged. So just bring a spare battery with you and you can just keep riding forever. For 80 minutes, for a, yeah. a minute, wait, one hour and 20 minutes. Yeah, that would work pretty well. All right, well. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe button and turn on post notifications. Turn on your post notifications so you don't miss our next update. And the next update will probably work on adding pneumatic tires to the front, adding disc brakes to the front. Um, I have a couple parts ordered already, so I'm waiting for it to arrive, but then we're going to keep modifying this and make it fun. And I'm going to find something some way to attach the front deck right here where you stand on so it's easy to come off without tools. And then make sure to leave a comment on whatever you have questions on. Yep. So if you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment. All right. Well, thanks for watching.